I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on with my mount. You know, I call it a cell phone holder. Mount, cell phone holder, whatever it's called. I don't know what's going on. So that's why I have to position the camera this way. I don't know what happened. I should have known something was up when this cost $5. <laughs> yeah, I got this from Walmart. I should have known something was up. Because they had all, this is how, this is a telltale sign. They had all of the other mounts locked up. You know, y'all, you know, y'all like to steal from Walmart. And so they lock up everything. And I was like, why are these just out by the cash register? So I just grabbed one and went and paid for it. And I was like, oh, it's like $5. It was cheap. I should have known something was up because everything else was locked up except for these. So yeah, we're gonna have to just do the video this way. Sorry, y'all. I don't like I don't like for it to be I don't like for my camera to be positioned this way. I like for it to look for y'all like for you know. Anyways, y'all, I just want to come down here. Oh, oh, the girls can't drive. You know the girls can't drive. Um, oh, he's scratching. I mean, I guess we all get an itch from time to time, but girl, I guess that's how you handle it, right, girl? Some of y'all don't mind. Some of y'all will walk down the street and go put your hands right down in the front of your pants and get to just digging for gold. I'll be like, my goodness. Girl, you couldn't have played it off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It really be the men who I see do that the most. I really never see women do it. But I've seen men in public who will literally just get their hands and just start scratching. I'll be like, girl, you couldn't wait till you sat down and kind of did a little, you know, a little wiggle. <laughs> you, know? you know, you got a little itch, you got to do just a little wiggle. Or you kind of play it off, like, you know, brush your hands across it and be, you know, hope for the best. But the girls be, <laughs> girl, what's going on? Anyways, y'all, I just wanted to come down here and run my mouth. And um, talk about some people. Um, did y'all see Tommy? Tommy Lee? Tommy, y'all know Tommy, the one who got into it. You know the one from I'm Love and Hip Hop. You know Tommy was my girl. But she's a little too, you know, <laughs> this is the thing. I like my girls to be a little ignorant. But when you a whole lot of ignorant, girl, I got to get off the train. Like Tommy, she's a whole lot of ignorant. I guess, I guess, I guess we the one who build these girls up for acting a fool, and then when they start doing too much, girl, we want to we want to throw them to the wayside, right? Tommy was my girl when she first got on Love and Hip Hop. I th I thought that Tommy was misunderstood. You could tell she had some demons, right? She was struggling with some demons, but I felt like Tommy was just kind of like she'll get it together. I'll be trying to get a girl. I'll be understanding, girl. Girls go, the girls and boys, we go through stuff sometimes. And sometimes you're just not in a good place. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not in a good place, then, girl, everything else around you can sometimes just fall apart. And it also has, in my opinion, you know, on how you interact with people and how you move through society. So I feel like Tommy was just in a, in a dark place. But, girl, I'm like, girl, when the light going to come on, honey? Because, girl, you've been, <laughs> you've been in a dark place for a long time. No shade. I know some people, it just, it is what it is. That's that's the cards that they were dealt. But I feel like for Tommy, and this is another thing too, and it is true. The girls, they are rewarded for bad behavior. So Tommy, she was rewarded for acting a fool. So why would she stop acting a fool? You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you rewarded me for. That's what y'all know me for. So let me go on here, act a fool, cut up, get this money, and I'm gonna keep acting a fool. That's part of I think that's part of the reason Krishan acts the way that she acts. On top of that, I think I think I think Krishan is a little slow too. But I think that that's part of the reason Krishan acts the way that she acts. Look, she's rewarded for her for her for her horrible behavior. But anyways, Tommy was out the other night. With Tamar's ex fiance, that white man, Jeremy, his name is Jeremy Robinson. They were at a basketball game. I don't know if they were together or if girl Tommy walked in, he was already there. 
I just know it's messy. I said, oh, so he, I said, oh, so you's a messy queen. And I'm not talking about Tommy either. Hello? I said, oh, so you's a messy queen. According to the shade room, oop, looked like Tommy and Tommy Lee was at the Hawks game with Tamar Braxton's ex, Jeremy Robinson. I mean, they sitting right. I mean, girl, let me stop playing. Girl, they, they, they was at the game together. They sitting right beside each other. This is messy. And that filter is a mess, sir. This is messy. This is messy. Like this, that 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 be the gag for me. It it's when these men swear up and down they don't want a taste of celebrity, right? They swear up and let me. What, did he say? Because I think he said something about this the last time when they broke up. Basically, saying like he wasn't trying to be a celebrity. Mm hmm. Oh, he the, 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 here you go. Yep, he posted the the uh, when he did the split when they when he posted about their split. He says so many questions, so many assumptions. I want to answer all that I can with respect. Yes, Tamar and I are no longer together. I ended the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy. And that was a dig right there. And being a better person, we know. I know Tamar. I, now, this is no T no shade. I also know Tamar. Tamar come across as somebody who's draining as hell too. Um, what happened and why? That's our private place. No, I never cheated. No, I wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was bur burglarized. I said, girl, that that that, should, that, should, that let us know right there he was messy. Because why do you have to let us know that she was at her mama's place? Because we didn't know that was her mama's place. No, I never cared about fame. That's it. There he go. No, I never cared about fame. Who reveals the most embarrassing moments in their life to find fame? A lot of people. I have always represented famous people, and the truth is, I was in an amazing place financially and mentally. He said some more stuff. Girl, I don't believe it. I think the I think I think the girls and boys maybe want to be famous. I think they get with these girls or boys who are already famous, and they want a little taste of it. Because if you didn't, there's no way you would be your raggedy ass down to the basketball game with Tommy, knowing Tommy and Tamar was just online beefing the other day. And now you sitting beside Tommy, girl, cheesing and smiling and grinning. But you don't want fame. Girl, you want to make the blogs. I mean, he don't owe Tamar nothing. Don't get it twisted. They're not together. But it sounds like he's talking out the both sides of his neck to, I mean, out his neck to me. Where were they going? Mm. Anyways. Girl, I ain't got no dog in the fight. Shout out to Tamar. Shout out to Tommy. Shout out to that girl who uh, Tommy was with. Jeremy. Oh, messy queen. <laughs> yeah. Girl, listen to this. The White Howard wants court to terminate his $3,000 monthly child support payments as he seeks full custody of his 13-year-old daughter, claims X allows teen to post inappropriate TikToks. <sighs> basketball star, this is according to the Jasmine brand, uh, basketball star Dwight Howard is taking legal action against one of his uh, one of the mothers of his children. They're one of. Okay, um, according to a report from Radar Online, the athlete re recently submitted a motion seeking full custody of his daughter Layla Loren Howard following a string of alleged concern uh, concerning actions from the teen and her mother. Reportedly, Dwight <laughs> Dwight. We, you, baby, what you need to be worried about is why the girls and why the boys are out here saying that you are violent and why Royce is down to the Carlos King show talking about she's scared of you and why the boys, why the gay boys are out here talking about, girl, you a predator, girl. That's what you need to be concerned about, girl. Ain't no court about to give you no children. Well, they might because, they, they, you know, money is power. I don't think Dwight want his daughter. I think this is just a way for him to change the course of the conversation girl we still talking about you dwight 
And we still trying to we still trying to figure out why is it every time the girls come out, there is either somebody young, and they talking about how you took advantage of them in the bedroom. Hello. But you want to be out here talking about, oh, girl, now she's 13 years old, but now you want to try to seek full custody. Girl, what was what what, what was going on the, the, the girl before she turned 13? Recently, Dwight Howard wrote in uh, court documents that the 13-year-old's mother, Tiffany Render, has been keeping him out of his child, out of their child's life. God, I don't believe it. And girl, quiet as this kept, no tea, no shade, girl. It, if she has been keeping you out of her child's life, girl, based off what the streets say you do, I don't blame her. There, there I said it. I wouldn't want no alleged predator around my goddamn children either. He said Render has been sharing information with him about the child. About, I'm sorry, has not hasn't been sharing information with him about the teen's education, health, and well-being, and suddenly moved her to Florida without his knowledge back in July. The NBA champion also claimed Layla has been posting a series of inappropriate things online since their move, adding that he has been unable to do much about uh, to, to do much to do much of anything about it. Um, he reportedly wrote in the legal well, girl, from what Roy said, you don't have no, you don't have, girl, this is, girl, Roy say you don't have nothing to do with the son. It's hard for me to believe that, girl, you got something to do with the daughter. We're going to talk about that interview. I already did part two, part one of the Ross Reed interview. Um, I need to go back and just, like, take some notes and stuff. Anyways, um, he reportedly wrote illegal documents. Um, Render failed and refused to provide access to the minor child. And failed to refu uh, and failed and refused to discuss in good faith the minor child's relocation, uh, unenrollment in her prior school, or enrollment in her new school in Florida. Um, speaking of the nature of the alleged inappropriate TikTok videos, um, Howard claimed Layla was uh, seen flipping off the camera and wearing clothing not appropriate for a person her age. Um, he claimed vid there are videos of the minor child scandally clad um, and and are in age uh, inappropriate clothing with vulgar sexual songs playing in the background. But in addition, Howard said that Render had their daughter partake in filming for the Real Housewives of, Ala uh, or of Orlando. So they got a Real Housewives of Orlando coming out? Or, did, or, 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 or was this, or, or was, because or, I know they got the Basketball Wives Orlando. I don't watch it. Or did they, or did they get the shows mixed up? Anyways, uh, without his knowledge or consent, and she stripped him, and she stripped him of his parental rights following their move. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe nothing that has to do with Dwight Howard. I don't. I believe what Ross was saying. I believe that what these people are saying in these streets, I believe it. And I believe, and I know for a fact, they say it all the time, when you got a whole lot of money or a little bit of money, honey, you can make some things shake and move. And I don't think Dwight Howard is too far from broke. Especially back in the day when he was when he was playing in the NBA. I don't, know, I don't think he plays in the NBA now. Now y'all be wanting to step in at 13, girl. Talking about girl, I want I want my daughter. No, you don't. No, you don't. You ain't want your daughter for the last thirteen years. What did I put it in the comment section? I'm sure I left a comment. Oh, here I go. Mm -hmm. I know I did. Um, Dwight isn't worried about that girl. He's using her to try and change the course of the conversation. Dwight, the bars are saying you are a predator, and Roy says you're violent, and she's scared that you'll harm her. That's what the people say. That's what the people say. Hello. Uh -huh. Oh, girl, listen to this mess. So, too far. Owner of the Licking in Miami pulls up on Darius Cooks after he gave his restaurant a critical review. Darius wants to file for simple battery and assault. Um, why the f would you open a restaurant? And ain't ish good about it. So this is what Darius um, 
posted. He said, posting this in case I end up unalived. E-Class Sis is the owner of the Licking Miami South. He followed Corey and I from our line's restaurant to the next spot. We were circling for parking, so there is no way he knew where we would be. He walked up to me, grabbed my cell phone out of my hand, attempted to assault Corey until he realized he had a camera. He handed my phone back to me, and when I called the police, ran back to his black Toyota Sienna and reversed out of the lot so I couldn't get his plate. I'm fine, a bit shaking, but the police are here and I'll be okay. But if I die, you know how it happened. This is also some of the um, audio of what he had to say. Let me play it. And I'm going to tell y'all what I think. It just shit just happened in two seconds. So it was like, and then, you know, I don't know these people. So I don't know if he's coming up to say, you know, like the guy just walked past just now and said, hey, what's up, chef? I don't know if he's just saying, hey, you know, uh, love your work. Or if he said, hey, I uh, fucking hate you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what he had been approaching me for. So me and Corey are both on guard. So we kind of step back. So my phone is in my hand, obviously unprotected. He grabs the phone out of my hand and puts the phone in his pocket, right? So then Corey has his camera in his hand and he turns, well, he walks toward Corey and he tells Corey like three times, I'm going to kill you to Corey, right? Because I'm going to kill you. So he grabs, he, um, it's acting like he's going to grab the camera from Corey. But Corey put the camera in his, back in the car so he kind of protect himself. And when he realized Corey was about to start recording, that's when he gave it, right? So somebody's parked in this parking lot. There's two cars here. There's a black Toyota Sienna and a Wagoneer. The guy, E-Class, comes out of the Sienna and he approaches me right here, okay, by the car. Now, I'm putting in the license plate because you got to pay for parking. So the phone is in my hand while I'm pulling in the license plate on the back of the car. I'm standing literally right here. This is where I'm standing. And he walks up toward me. All right. He walks up toward me. He says to me, he says, I'm E-Class and I want to talk to you. That's what he said. He said, I'm E-Class, I want to talk to you. It happened so fast. Unfortunately, I couldn't get what he was wearing. Also, this is the um, review that Darius Cooks left. And those, for those who don't know, Darius Cooks is supposed to be a chef. And I know he owned a few restaurants in Atlanta at one point. I forgot one name. I wanted to go so bad because the food did look good. I forgot the name of it, like greens and gravy or collard greens and chicken. I forgot. Um, we'll talk about it. We'll We'll get into that. I just left the Licking Miami. It's complete trash, bullish. Everything about this place is the pits. The food, horrific. The service, horrific. R horrific. Why the F would you open a restaurant and it ain't ish good about it? Support this. They blunk out the word. Um, restaurant if you want to. They'll never see me again. Attitudes, bad service, and horrific food. <clears throat> I don't know anything about Darius Cooks. But I do know this. I remember the news did like an expose on him and they say that he was out here scamming people in the streets. I have heard people come out like from the Food Network and talk about how he treats. It was some black women who came out and talked about how he treated them. Um, I remember there were a couple of times like when he had his restaurants, I guess, people you know, people out here scamming too, girl, they go to the restaurants and dispute their charges. And I remember him posting like their names or like the credit, like the receipts online to call them out. Um, anytime I hear of Darius cooks, there's really nothing positive that people are saying. And there's really nothing positive attached to his name. It's always some bullshit, honestly. I don't know what happened to those. I think he had like he had a string of restaurants in Atlanta, like two or three, four. It was a few. And I don't think he has them anymore. I don't know what happened. Um, I just like I said, I just know that 
the things that I hear and the things that people say, they're never positive things. Um, I guess he goes to these restaurants and from what the comments say, he never has really anything positive to say. I'm hoping he has in the negative things that, you know, sometimes people react to the negative more than the positive. I'm hoping he doesn't just go around shitting on restaurants just because, right? Um, I think that multiple things can be true at the same time. I can think, I think that what I said can be also the truth from what the streets are saying and what I've heard and what I've seen. The expose, the black, I forgot that black woman name. It was a couple of them from the Food Network, I remember. But I also think, girl, you can't be out here threatening people because, girl, they leave a bad review of your restaurant either. Like I said, multiple multiple things can be true at the same time. Darius could, could be a complete mess, but girl, it's also a mess that you're out here, girl, threatening people who leave a bad review about your restaurant. Girl, that's a mess. That's a mess. But then some people could also say, girl, Darius cooks, he has it out for him because, girl, of the way that he treats people. I remember one time I think he told his fans to go and like dock some people uh, Instagram page. But what it sounds like from what the people say, girl, he's a messy queen and a negative queen. And like I said, some of this stuff I've seen with my own eyes. I remember the news doing a segment on him. And I remember some people coming out from Food Network. I think it was a black woman, a couple of, I think it was one or two, probably two black women coming out talking about their experience with him. Or oh, they also talked about how supposedly like he doesn't, these are not his recipes. Like he steals folks recipes and like he, like, I don't know. It's just a whole, it's just a whole mess. But anyways, yeah, I still don't think he should have been threatened though. I mean, girl, he might be a mess, but girl, you can't be threatening people just because they're leaving negative reviews on your restaurant either. Anyways, girl, that's all I have to say. Mm -mm, what's the tea? I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all. Hey, before I go, <laughs> girl, one of our cousins, shout out to Feel Good, girl, we follow each other on Twitter. He sent out a tweet. When I said I screamed when I saw this, this is what Feel Good had to say. <laughs> he said, since Tamar been having a hard week, I'm going to give you a quick read for Tommy from the iconic movie Poetic Justice. Every time you kissing him, you tasting my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! I was hollering when I read what he wrote. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all.